You guys remember this computer? Satan's PC, the one that we did a whole video about trying to figure out what the heck was going on with this. Well, we're gonna continue because now we've got a brand new replacement graphics card to test with it. But stay tuned, there, this, this is still a weird story. So this is basically a new in box uh, 3070 for the Win 3. LHR. So the LHR, if you guys don't recall, is the low hash rate, which was the NVIDIA's like, let's combat, you know, the mining crowd or whatever to try and keep things from getting bought up for cryptocurrency mining. If you guys don't recall, the first video, we did a lot of testing. Apex Legends is a title where it was consistently crashing. And he had a few titles where it would crash on him, it was Apex, Warzone, um, squad, like there were certain games that would crash guaranteed. Now, almost like clockwork at the same moment in time every time. But leading to the chaos is the fact that there were other games that it would work just fine. So just to sort of recap what we went through in our previous video, if you guys don't want to go watch it, I highly recommend it though. We changed the RAM, we changed the um, motherboard BIOS, we changed the graphics card BIOS, we made sure we were fully updated. This is a brand new installation of Windows. And the error that we get, um, it's basically like a DXI error, which basically the, the API is saying, yo, the graphics card disconnected. And it's like, that's a weird error to try and trace down. And since doing that video, I have had, I can't even count how many people have reached out to me saying, I've got the very same issues on the very same games. Did you come to a conclusion of what the issue was? We still think the issue is gonna drill down to the GPU. And the reason for that is the fact that I put a different 3070 graphics card in here and it ran perfectly fine. I took this graphics card, which is crashing, and put it in my test rig and it doesn't crash in the same game. So that's when we're like, whoa, is it something to do with the LHR or what? Now I'm only doing this again for sanity testing here because I should be able to get to the same part of the um, training room. Oh, we didn't even make it in there that time. <laughs> DXGI error, device hung. What I'm gonna do right now is I, there are significant driver updates since this driver, since I did this video. Um, and I wanna send this computer back to him, hopefully working. Yeah, this is 531.18. We're like 542 or something like that now. I don't think this is gonna be an issue because one of the things that we also tested that day and so did the uh, owner of the PC was just trying, he tried like 10 different drivers or something like that. This was also like Jacob's, I, I wanna feel, feel like this was his last gesture for the channel before he left EVGA because he sent this to us a little while back. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't heard, Jacob unfortunately has left EVGA to move on to greener pastures. So new opportunity, I have no idea what he's doing. Why people keep asking me like, do you know? I'm like, I swear to God, I don't know. But let's take a look at this card here while the driver is updating. And also too, he has tried uh, DDU the whole deal. And in fact, what we've got going on right here is uh, a completely fresh install of Windows prior to us doing all this testing. So it's not even like there were previous driver versions to have to deal with. Look at this. It's not every day you get to freshly unbox a 30 series card two years later. <laughs> but it's not a refurb, it is a brand new card. And the reason why you can tell is because all the refurbs come in brown box. This is retail box. So I feel like this was one of the last retail 3070s that were still available and they were sent to us for this purpose of this video and this testing. And it was not like a loner. If this works, I'll just leave it in there and off we go, he'll be fixed. Otherwise, if it doesn't, I'm debating putting one of my working cards in there that we know don't have an issue and then hanging on to the LHR card and maybe doing some further testing with it. You know, realistically, one of the uh, easy fixes is just don't play Apex Legend. I mean, that is a fix, but it's crashing before it even launches like the engine. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap out the card. Nick, screw me. It just sounds like PC Building Simulator. Linus, give me money. So, <laughs> we didn't get this far last time. Remember I would go sliding down the thing and it would crash? 
Yeah, right I think, honestly, it's the card. But there's nothing wrong with that card. The other card, there's nothing wrong with it in my system. Like putting it in another system, it works perfectly fine. So what I want to look at right now first is see exactly what BIOS version you're on. So we're at 9404640.7F. So I'm going to take a quick photo of this just to compare, only because I'm not 100% sure that they didn't maybe make some sort of revision on the card itself. So I have now extracted this BIOS. Now I need to shut the system off again, and I'm going to load the other card in here, and I'm going to compare what uh, GPZ is showing me versus this card, both BIOS, revision of the die, all of that. Achieve Cable Mod Nirvana with Cable Mod's 12 volt high power angled adapters. These low profile adapters plug into your graphics card 16 pin 12 volt high power port and enable the power cable to be plugged in at either a 90 degree or 180 degree angle. Featuring a multi PCB design and a sleek profile, this adapter helps increase clearance between the GPU and the side panel, perfect for today's wide GPUs, and is available in a wide range of colors allowing for a perfect match with your custom color profiles. To learn more, follow the link in the description below. Okay, it is running the exact same BIOS. Both are running 9404640.7F. So there's no point in trying to flash the BIOS. Everything's exactly the same between these cards. So, okay, so for those that are like, oh, you didn't mention, okay, he did change the motherboard. This is a second motherboard. The only thing he didn't change was like the drive, but the drive wouldn't act this way with two different graphics cards causing it to crash, not crash. We tried different RAM, we tried, Everything. We, I just didn't change the motherboard. He did it himself. We didn't change the CPU either. What is his CPU in here? I'm not, I don't think I'm going to change it, but it's a 5600X six core. Nick, we got one of those. So no, unfortunately I do not have a 5600X or 5600 or 5700 or 5700X or anything in that range. I have a 5950X, which I would not recommend with that motherboard. <laughs> um, I could have thrown it in for just the purpose of testing, but at this point, I absolutely positively do not believe that that will have anything to do with it. So I am going to now take this CPU back at, or this GPU back out. I am going to throw the known working one back in there. And I need to do like a one hour kind of a, a burn test here where I'm just going to load up Apex Legends again. And then I'm going to put it into the firing range, which we know is where it was crashing as you guys just saw again and just let it sit there for like an hour or something while we kind of fart around and get some other stuff done in the office here just to see if it's going to crash or not. Because if it doesn't, then we know now the graphics card was at, was at fault, but cannot pinpoint exactly what it is about the graphics card that is at fault, which is extremely frustrating because I do not like this, not knowing what, like the problem is now narrowed down to the component. But why? What is it about that component in just that one title that's causing the problem? And this doesn't help a lot of you because many of your cards are out of warranty at this point and you can't just swap it, you know? I, I don't, I can't figure out a fix for this particular problem. I've, I've done a ton of Googling, a ton of research, both before getting this card and after having the errors and stuff. It boots so fast. When you don't have AM5, AMD CPUs going, let me remember the memory every time you start up a system, even with context on or off. All right, moving on. We know the problem exists here. Just don't know what. I was really hoping the BIOS version was gonna be different. That way I could have narrowed it down to, hey, updating the BIOS will fix it, but nope, because this is the same BIOS. For all intents and purposes, these two cards are Perfectly identical. So it has not crashed one time. Nick has played with it. Phil has played with it. I'm still playing with it and it doesn't crash. Ironically, if you look over here, the bad card on the uh, 12th gen test rig has crashed. Um, and we tested it on that rig sitting on the table over there, which is our 7800X3D rig crashed. So I can't explain why in the previous video it did not crash on our 10th gen 10900K rig. So I thought maybe it was an AMD thing because this is an AMD system and that's an AMD system. So we tried it on there for sanity check. So now this card is crashing on other systems. So anyway, I, I guess Satan's PC is finally figured out. Um, it was the card, even though this is an exact model of that card, that one 
feels pretty convinced it just has to have some sort of a defect in it that's only showing in these certain API draw, uh, draw call instructions from certain game engines. Anyway, I'm glad that I can get Charles's PC back to him. Uh, that way, you know, he can be up and running and, and have another gaming PC on hand that he built and hasn't been able to use since the day he built it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You guys are asking for some sort of a conclusion to this. There you go. It's the graphics card, as we thought all along, but it's just weird. It, it's like you would think good or bad, it's going to work in all situations or not work in all situations where something is only in certain scenarios causes that DirectX crash. All right, guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. I'm not gonna play this game, no.